works diet really is, hard. And his he thought diet he worked is so terrible. Well. That's no, the thing. no. You know what's I funny? Do. He it's thought he better, worked so hard. Better. His diet is terrible. Saying, I came to the gym. I, I came I to the gym. No, and I'm like, Jared's listen. lifting like a pussy. Why? What is he talking about? Jared does not even lift. I heard a glass a day keeps the doctors away. I did hear the same. I think it's a bottle a day keeps the doctors away. No, 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 no. I'm that's how, my that's how it's yeah, been yeah, though. Yeah, that's yeah. how that's how it's been on wine talks. It's only me. the wine talks though, because I I think loyalty is weird to me. Because I just think how life is is always a give and take. Example mm-hmm. is I started going to this wine bar. God, like I'm not gonna be like in a wheelchair, cane shit, like old ass nigga. Like you are never gonna catch me. I'll still throw hands at 85. Oh god, hit the treadmill. I think Miller something. called you fat, Luch. I don't know if that's okay. I mean, with you. I was just Wait, no, you I was, me that, bro. No, I'm just like what? damn, like that uh, must what? be a no. I said that must what? be a weak chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I got the next flight right now. Baby, just vibe with me. Back to Wine Talk Wednesdays, where you get to tune in and get a glimpse of the guys. My name's Luciano. Ty. Jared. Miller. And Reggie D Podcast. <laughs> Favorite day of the week. Yo, you already know. Favorite day of the week. Let's go. All right. So. You're getting fucked up tonight. We. Yeah, oh, my know. God. My chair broke. Oh, fuck. No, it did not. Oh my god! I, I got so boy. excited. I got so excited that my chair broke. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I can. I don't think you can either. But the backdrop. Be uh, naked, bro. I would say just get a new chair. Yeah, yeah I would say just bad, hit dude. the treadmill. I think Miller something. called you fat, Luch. I don't know if that's okay. I with mean, you. I was just Wait, no, you call I was, me fat, bro. No, I was just what? like damn, like that uh, must what? be a no. I said that must what? be a weak chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I got the next what? flight right now. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's it's broken. If you can see it. But... <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing wobbling. Yeah. It's bad. Ah, it's tough bad. go, tough go. I say just I say just keep it and <laughs> fight through the adversity. Yeah. He said that's what life's about. Chair, but it's 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 kind of on the left. It's a little far. <laughs> He's the one chair over. <laughs> what well, just? Oh my god! I broke it again. No, <laughs> no you should stick. You trying to yeah. pick it up? Is that shit? Well, anyways, apart. I got the Scarlet of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rose. We all doing rose today. <laughs> Facts. That's hilarious. You gotta fight through the adversity. This is a very cheap bottle of wine. You know, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. I kind of picked up the first bottle I saw. Heard that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> rose is usually safe. <laughs> rose is usually safe. Safe pick, I'm safe just, pick. Very I'm, safe pick. I'm, Can't really fuck up Rosé, so I'm not no. too. I'm not too mad at it. Yeah, this, the, I got the, I got the, the blue. Let me see. There. Whoa, that looks kind of nice. I never yeah. heard of that one. Me neither. So de France, Francais. Okay. Heard so, that. that okay, cool. that's nice. Four point five percent. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Good to see you back uh, with us. Oh, we're back. Luch. We're back. Hello. Yeah, back like you never left. Back like you never left. I'll uh, um, you, you can finish yeah, it out. You, 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 you could, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just introduce mine real quick. Yeah, I, yeah. dude, I thought you were like honestly getting no. jumped by that chair back there. I, I, <laughs> no. I thought it was a straight up fight. <laughs> it is. You it put is, it on your shoulder. <laughs> it's torn apart. It's torn apart. You know who won that fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you started kicking. You had some battle scars, though. You had some battle scars. Yeah, yeah facts. No, it definitely. was a hard fought uh, victory. Um, but I got this blood orange, uh, fr- first press rose. Um, da da da. I don't. It's called first press. Is the brand, and then it's blood orange rose. So yeah, we gonna get mm. into that. My bar, my liquor store didn't have a lot of rose ups. Mine either. Kind of disappoint. Like, kind of yeah, disappoint. Be like that. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, like this one I found here, Alma Ooh. Mora. Rosado, which is the rosé. Um, it's a it's a rosé of Syrah. I think that's how you pronounce it. Syria. Um, Syrah. That's a place. Syrah. Syrah. No, it's a type of wine here. It's like a oh, very. Oh. It's a very so it's dry. Different. Very yeah. dry. You got a wine. dry rosé. No, so I don't, like I don't like how I didn't see that in the first place, and I just saw it now. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got, I said you got said, dry wine. Mm. Knowing you don't <laughs> like getting, like dry wine. Yeah, it's kind of bit of a toss up here. Yeah, but right. we'll see how it goes because rose is yeah. there, sweet. You know, we'll we'll Fast. see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Who um, goes first? Yeah. Oh yeah, your boy. Yep. Luciano. Let's get on twisties today. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> no pop. No pop. I know. No pop today, dude. Not it's not a little unfortunate. Blood, I almost got one, but I really wanted this one. Same, same. I, I want to represent too. France today. Oh, respectfully. Ooh, <laughs> trying to feel good. Trying to feel it. Oh, wait. Yeah, mine's good. just producing France too, actually, Jared. No shit. <laughs> mine's actually mine's produce... Argentina? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Argentina? Yeah. Argentina? Dude, really? I don't. I, yeah, there's not a lot of like so foreign two wine. France, here. two Argentina. I wait, feel like Argentina, you're just from Argentina, like, right? I feel like a country like that. I feel like most of the you alcohol is like home homemade. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's probably expensive to import to mm-hmm. Argentina, and yeah, then it's not also, that much. They're not yeah. making enough money back. Nah, nah, it's probably just like they just don't got the money to do it. But then also, it's probably more just like. They're saving so much money that they're able to do it in their own country, anyways. Type shit. You know what I mean? Like, why? Yeah, probably. Um, Mine's also from. Um, um, yeah. So this is uh, made in Argentina. <laughs> it's a uh, dry rose. This is not mm. fantastic at all. Um, <laughs> it's got some flavor to it. The aftertaste. It does not taste great at all. That is tough. Um, it, it's just, it's just, it's not soothing, man. It's not suave, you know. <laughs> no, no, I hear you. That is, that is unfortunate. Is, and like, what is it wants to, it wants to be like, so it, it, like cool. It wants to be like bubbly at the same time, but it's not bubbly. You know, it's like, yeah, what, 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 what does that taste? You know. Yeah. That's so that's gonna be. I feel you on that one. Oh, suave that's means smooth, by the way. Suave smooth. That's I didn't it know that. Okay. Yeah. Suave. Suavemente. That's actually wild. I always thought yeah. it meant now, like cool. Now the more so you that makes know. sense. The more you yeah. know. Uh, my rating, though, is going to be 5.8. 5. 5.8. 5. 5. 5. That's, that's, that's not as bad as I thought you were going to be. Could have been worse. Honestly, I thought it was the same. Could have been I worse. I thought you were going to say three. Last week the was flavor, a four-some. The, yeah, right. four-some. Yeah, I don't even know, bro. The flavor was really... So, Bringing this thing up, mm. but so this could just drink slowly. Yeah, slowly but surely. So hopefully, go, hopefully uh, one day it's we'll, my go, turn. we'll get above six. Yeah, let's get it cracking. This does not smell. It smells all right. Oh. It smells okay. Oh, you know. What's yours again? It's called the Scarlet of Paris. Ooh, um, right. it's literally it was eight dollars at my liquor store, so my <laughs> my hopes aren't that high. You know. <laughs> Does it mm. smell good? Like shooting for mid. <laughs> nah, it smells bad. It smells bad. You know how Hold much on. mine was? A thousand. A hundred. A thousand and a hundred. That means it was, what, like <laughs> 10 bucks? <laughs> yeah, five, like five and like some change. Four or five bucks, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is not that bad. That's good to hear. That's funny. A thousand. It's really, um, it's really surprised me, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm so happy for you, Ty. You got good connects out there. Eight dollars, and it's good. Yo, happy. you're hurting my boy. No, it's really eight dollars. If you go to any liquor store, it's probably not. It's not higher than ten. I don't think. Um, only thing I dislike about it's not cold. I should have probably put it in the freezer before, but yeah. Um, yeah. only thing I dislike about it has to. Sh- it's it's almost like. I don't want to say better, but it's definitely like a acquired acid taste. Mm. Kind of sits there. But I, like the front, it goes down real smooth. It's not, it's not, it's dry, but it's not, you know, it's a rose, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Way. If you drink rose, I feel like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's not like a dry, it's not rose. Like just saying, a very dry, very dry one. Yeah. I'll give mine, uh, uh, um, it's an average. Mm. But I feel like if this was cold, it'd be better. So I'm gonna give it an average yeah. six point eight. Could move it to a seven if it was cold. That's not bad. That's actually good looks. Like that's that's decent, especially for a wine that you didn't expect much of. It was like eight bucks or whatever. Expect, I was that's expecting that three. Great looks. Yeah, that's pretty exactly. good. That's yeah, awesome. that's barefoot, good looks. Yeah. barefoot costs more than this bottle. Okay, really? Yeah. So wow. 
I'm just, right. I'm just joking. I don't know, but, but it's I'm probably sure no, it but does. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, that's probably right along the same lines. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's on the mm-hmm. same thing. Mm-hmm. I got the uh, Blue de Mer. Mm. I like that name. Or Blue de Mer. Elegant, yeah. Elegant. Oh, my. Oh, my. I don't know, my. I think I might have just had deja that's... vu. That's good. That's. <laughs> that's mm. I, I feel like those i love to hear that it's good there's there's a bit of a dry taste but it's, it's like that rosé taste i feel like <laughs> yeah it does it's a, it's better than the dry taste though so mm-hmm. i'll give that like uh it's not my favorite though like i you don't like rosé though yeah, no, nah, I prefer mm-hmm. red wine over rosé, definitely. I mean, I do white too. wine. You wanna you wanna do a rosé in the summer? Over a cold, you, a cold, mm, a, a cold rosé in the summer. I prefer white wine to be honest. But okay. I think you would okay. like if okay. you white if you like white wine. I think you would honestly prefer rosé over red wine. Like, there's a lot of rosé in the summer. There's a lot of sweet, the yeah. And there's a lot of sweet rosés, but then there's a lot of rosés that are a little mm. bit bitter. And I think that bitter taste that Ty was talking about kind of reminds me. I feel like I know what you're talking about when you're just talking like drinking rosés. Like it gives me that like Especially there's a no white food. wine, white wine bitterness. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that shit hits different. But oh, you know that totally white similar. wine bitterness is a little bit different mm-hmm. than the red wine bitterness. Yeah, it's definitely a little something. Mm-hmm. Some, definitely. Uh, it's some like the red wine is like a little stickier or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's thicker. Like, it's more full. Yeah, it's more full. That's a great explanation right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we're talking like we're. Uh, What's the this word? Is, the, uh, the famous wine taster? Connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. We're talking like connoisseurs. Yeah. I'm a wine. We kind of are. We kind of low key are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, how are we not? We're like representing honesty. like how many? Because many... a connoisseur can go look up a thousand bottles and tell you which one you would like off of your taste. We can't do that. Well, I'm right there. Uh, maybe, eventually, maybe. eventually we'll get to there. You I know? need to start listing them <laughs> down, bro. Yeah, every single one down, and then I'll really be that guy. Like I'll be like, <laughs> let me check. Honestly, him. what's your rating? Just look back at it. He said six eight. Six no, eight. No, 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 no. I'm thinking uh, like a six six. Six six. Ooh. Okay, I'm back. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Okay. Six, six, yeah. six. This is actually really good. It's actually Jared, you would love this. This is some sweet shit. This is good. It's like mm. clear. If I threw a if I threw an ice cube in here, maybe two, Ooh. I would be You're chilling. not get a fine no fine. You're nah. not get a bro throw it in the freezer. <laughs> I would don't I do would what throw, my dad I would, does. I, I, <laughs> bro, I'm bro, in the wine, for so immediately. Be, in the in the what you call it in the summer couple a couple blocks of were you there with my ice? Blues, yeah I dad? know I know when my dad yeah. threw ice cubes in the wine he said I know what to fix this I know exactly what I'm gonna do oh, Dude, nah. these big ass ice cubes because we had the big ice cube trays that had one single big ass block he would just put that big ass <laughs> block in the ice in the uh, in the rosé bro people down here when the wine doesn't taste the greatest or too strong um they put like sprite. Something, <laughs> something like soda, like Sprite, like that in the wine to make what? it have more flavor and more mm, to, to have it, it sweeter. Yeah, to have it sweeter. Just get a sweet wine at that. Maybe bubbly too. I know. Yeah, I Probably saw good. that. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what are they That's doing? That's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> oh god, that sounds <laughs> crazy. I, I was appalled. I was like appalled. Diabetes yeah. and a heart attack. One. But I low key, like low key, it was not it was not that bad. I mean, like I went to go try it as well because I was like appalled. I was just like, oh, okay, let's mm-hmm. see where this goes. And it took me on a different path, honestly. It was just like, huh. A badness. <laughs> a bad- yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like it's not the greatest, but at the same time, you know, it makes it, it definitely it makes it a little It's like, like once worse and once more worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Bad and worse. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I see you. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry gonna... for interrupting there, Miller. No, no, good. Um, I'm gonna rate it. This is good too, honestly. I do fuck with this. Oh, nice couple of sips too, honestly. It's only eight point five percent. It's a nice, like, calm wine. I was thinking it's like real, like, flavor. Just a lot of flavors. Mine's um, is fourteen. Oh my Jesus god, Christ. mine's a twelve. Damn. Jesus, the boys are getting too. I'm not. 12. I wish 5. I was. Um, four. You, you gotta look at the percentage. You don't. You don't want to look at percentage. 
I'm, I'm straight. straight I'm flavor. straight. This is. I started but, looking at the flavor and the percentage. You got to do. This okay, thing. that's fire. Because my wine is definitely rating top of everybody's wine today. Like that's my point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he uh, said, "I'm enjoying the wine." More yeah, than like yes. Yeah, that's yeah. that's um, awesome. I'm so happy for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Luch. I, I pray for you, man. I really do. <laughs> Luch has been on this short end of the stick. Like, All three the weeks time. in a row. Three weeks it's in a row, so most definitely. It's so uh, I'll rate it. Um, I'm probably that's pretty good, actually. I'll... Yeah. Mm, going back for like you fourth, could fifth, it. and sixth. Yeah. I was gonna say that too. It actually reminds me of like college because I could chug that shit. I actually got. I got okay. like um deja vu for a second because oh. I thought I've never had this wine wow. before and I haven't, but I had this wine, but like the red grapefruit flavor and that brought me back and I was definitely just ripping this wine bottle at like 1 p.m. Like just getting after it, two bottles, me and a friend per se. <laughs> and it just and was he like, said he's just a friend. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What's it rating? Uh, oh, baby. Uh, A5. <laughs> Bye, you. Ty's already off it. Oh, good. <laughs> I, but, I wasn't yeah. supposed to drink the rest of the week and I already fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, last time he goes, yeah, cranberry juice next time. <laughs> I need Bro, did you guys, did you guys see the extended clips from last week? How oh, you were for the last <laughs> podcast? <laughs> we ain't no, on the surround. No. 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 Bro, you guys got to look at the end of the, the last podcast. <laughs> okay. It's so funny. Yeah, no, I'll peep that. I'll peep that. God, like, I'm not going to be, like, in a wheelchair, cane shit, like, old ass nigga. Like, you're never going to catch me. I'll still throw hands at 85. Oh, God. Like, what? That'd be you will never rob that's me. That's the what? goal. That's honestly the goal. No, yeah. that's yeah, that's facts. The goal. That's that's part of the journey. Exactly. No, that's a process. As I seep some wine down and start to tear away of my liver, <laughs> like that's how I feel too. Like yeah. every time it hits my stomach, I'm just like, damn. I'm like me that talking about living kinda... forever, just chugging down a bottle of wine. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> I heard a glass a day keeps the doctors away. I did hear the same. I think it's a bottle well, a day keeps the doctors away. No, 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 no. I'm that's how, that's how it's yeah, been yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how that's how it's been on wine talks. It's only me. the wine talks though, because I never that's still even once drink a week. wine. Usually, yeah, it's still once right. a week though. So a bottle a week. Oh, yeah, your day is crazy. That's seven days. <laughs> Oh, shit, a you are alcoholic at that point. <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel a like bottle once I'm retired, I'll be I'll be like a few bottles a week or something, maybe. Yeah, of course. Two bottles course. a week. Yeah, yes, maybe like what? two, three bottles, maybe four. Uh, if three? it's a good one, maybe even more if it's a fucking bro, fantastic week. Like yeah, you party and all this shit. If I'm on the beach and I'm retired, bro, what are you talking about? A bottle Honestly, a it day. might not even be all wine either. <laughs> it might be might be some bottles the of grape juice. Uh, I don't even know. Or uh, some it's gonna vodka. be the some top patron. shelf shit. I'm gonna be like, oh, get the 1942 here. I'm gonna, drink, here. I'm like, gonna stop drinking alcohol shots. at the age of 45. Why that's like dead that's like this. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> dead silent. Wait, did you say you're gonna stop? I couldn't. I'm dead. Ass. <laughs> I'm so serious. That's the equivalent of Ty saying he gonna stop drinking for <laughs> next week. Yeah, bro. <laughs> stop with all the cap. <laughs> like, and dead. you're planning for you're planning for I'm 20 years ass, in the future. Bro. You better calm your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so there's a serious. process. There's a process. <laughs> there's no way they're gonna be. Gonna be, gonna be I sitting, cannot. They're gonna be sitting all myself. together in Barbados, maybe fifty on the fucking sand with all the fucking uh, rum punch and shit. Like you're not gonna watch the boys just drink rum punch while you're just Ain't sitting. No, God, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get me a mocktail, bro. You I'm gonna know what that is. I'm gonna keep. Oh, a mocktail. Yeah, that? it's just a. It's a straight up cocktail with no alcohol. Oh my God. But they're good though. It's like the same thing. Like you can have like the taste of having those drinks too. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah you'll get me. that feeling. You get that feeling. No, I agree. I agree with Luch. It's gonna be like we're gonna be in Barbados on the island on vacation type shit. There's gonna be rum punch. I'm gonna get an alarm and it's gonna be like Ty might be capping right now. See if you, <laughs> like if, if you guys challenge me, I'm definitely not doing. It. 
Yeah, yeah. You got forget about wanna, it. I don't want to challenge you. I want to be forty six. Yeah, I want to the bar. Yeah, same, bro. I'm gonna still, still go to the bar. I want to go to the bar. I'm trying to get be bottle go service. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sparkling if I'm feeling spicy that day. <laughs> That's not funny. The Pellegrino's Diogo special. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's, the, what's the difference with those waters? Like, it's, it's just it's water. just one has bubbles and, and one doesn't. Mm. Well, it's like the seltzer and there's like the mineral water. Yeah. Mm. How are your thoughts on loyalty? Like, you know, within your people, I don't know. Okay, good thing you bring that up, Miller. Huh. So who loyalty? Oh, no. sorry, Jared. Story uh, time for Luke. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, no, no, that's all you I like one. I, for, I forgot my story. You, you all good. Oh. Are you serious or are you just I saying was, shit? I was just I saying, like, who? Uh, Jared, you, Jared, you're going, bro. You, you, you got something cooking. Yeah, I know. I know. Is there something? I, I can I can cook a little bit later, bro. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I Are you talking about what I was talking about before? <sighs> Like with, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was, yeah, I mean, I was gonna um, talk about loyalty and, and yeah, people. loyalty. Yeah, I think that you should be experience. loyal to those that like, you know, have your back. You yeah, know, of like, course. Oh, you know, like, that's so sentimental. Yeah, that's fact. Great. I guess let's just no. Actually, let's go. That was great. Yeah, let, yeah. Let's yeah, no. Yeah. Let's hear a time where I was gonna say either bad or good loyalty, where it's like. Maybe like a good story where you're like, yo, like you hooked me up type shit. And then maybe a bad one. Or if you have one or the other type shit, you know what I mean? If you have a really bad one, you're like, yo, homie was OD. And then, you know, OD good or bad. No, I don't, I don't know. I think loyalty is weird to me because I just think how life is, it's always a give and take. Example mm-hmm. is I started going to this wine bar. I know it's a bartender name. I'm not gonna say his name, but I know the I know <laughs> yeah. two bartenders over. There. I know the whole staff, but I, uh-huh. I know about two or three bartenders in there. And is at some point they just decided to start giving me free stuff. So at some point, if I got four glasses of wine, my bill instead of looking like eighty dollars started looking like fifteen because they only charged mm. the first drink. Jesus. So. I usually give like fifty dollar tip if they're doing mm-hmm. such things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or fifty dollar yeah. tip. They're doing such thing. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's not that I don't know if that's loyalty, but it's more like game appreciates game. Mm-hmm. So if yeah. my boy at the at at says, Oh, if I say I don't got it today, my boy go, nah, get whatever you want today. It's on me. Get away. Game respect game. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I knew you for about five years or i knew you for about a month you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. if, mm-hmm. if if miller asked me or if one of my teammates i just met this year asked me for a shirt i'm gonna give him my shirt but mm-hmm. i'm sure if i asked them from for a shirt or something i can get that you know what i'm saying it's like mm-hmm. yeah loyalty it's doesn't give it's and not, take. It's, not, it's not a time to me loyalty doesn't mean timeline it just means a respect mm-hmm. how, yeah yeah how life I works that. in my in my this game respect game that's how i put it <laughs> Yeah, I like game that. I do like that. That's a good way mm-hmm. to put it. Yeah, and I like the whole loyalty thing with like the, within the bar type shit. I think that's definitely that's definitely a thing that I definitely like. I remember like when I was back in college too. Like I had like a certain bartender. Like I knew through friends, like through hockey. But then like when I just would go to them, like they would give me a discount on drinks. Like when we had our bar nights, but like they would also give me a discount on like two of the drinks out of like six of the drinks i had that night like maybe i get like a free shot you know or a free round of shots like three free shots and like get it again type shit which is like that's kind of like always a vibe but that is definitely loyalty that's business that, that is business that it's is business. business i like but it can go but it can loyalty. do it's basically saying if you give me something i'm a i'm a i'm gonna I'm I'm get you some way or some other time down mm-hmm. the line mm-hmm. and it's loyalty like, where it's like if i come to that <laughs> bar like i'm gonna go to you like it's like you're like yeah, I would yeah, say I'm like your hair cut. Your side. The, yeah, that will be going. that will be my loyalty story. Where like <laughs> homeboy actually fucked me up, like hair hairdresser, like he really like 
fucked my shit up and like i was so heated bro like i remember just being like <laughs> i'm about to get a new barber like it's clips like i'm really done with him like <laughs> he ain't never done me wrong like that much but like i'm really done and then like i remember it hit him up and i was just like it's like yo like yo like i like i, I was just trying to be as nice as possible because like it's like it feels like critiquing somebody's like artwork or something mm -hmm. like that. Your music, you know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah. you ain't give me a good haircut. But I was like, hey, bro, like, you always hooked it up, da da da. But like, I really, you know, like the I wasn't like too happy with the haircut. It just felt a little even on some sides, da da da. Like the lines weren't matching up, this and that. And then like he's like, you know, like just come in da 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 like free charge no nothing like just come in i'll fix you up you come whenever you want like type shit just like give me a call and like i'll be there like if even if you're after hours like, i still i'll stay over like i'll stay up to an hour after hours like on like two days of the week if you want to come through and like that was my like loyalty because like i had been going on him to him for like years like six years like probably yeah probably like seven seven years at this point he just recently Damn. quit on some bullshit but like yeah even when like we were in pandemic like he did hook it up he's like yo like i know it's pandemic but if you need a cut like i got you and i'm like yo that's, that's sick bro. i'm gonna need that yeah. He easily could have. He easily could have just been like, "Yeah, man, fuck you, go ahead." Like, fuck you, <laughs> genuinely, bro. Yeah. Genuinely, <laughs> he's like, "Figure it out, bro." If he made me no, the thing was because like <laughs> I already out, said crazy. too. I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, during was the like, pandemic, Damn. <laughs> yeah, bro, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. No, but like when he did like mess my haircut up, and I was like, I was like, yo, like, I was like, yeah, so I was gonna like pay for it, and I was like, uh, I was like, um whatever maybe i don't know i was talking about the payment and whatever he's like bro like you know you don't gotta be like you you're not paying bro like what like i didn't think he was actually gonna like do that he's like nah like don't even worry about it like i got you like it's on me like you already hook it up like da 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 so i was like all right bad 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 but like that's just loyalty you know he knows i'm coming back anyways it's not that big deal <laughs> he's got you i just think loyalty is a form of different i think loyalty yeah. just comes in different ways like obviously this loyalty was not hey, speaking one. speaking bad about you or you know yeah, but true. to be honest, a new person can not speak bad, bad about you too, you know, or someone that you knew all your life to speak bad about you. You know, this I, I don't think it belongs to a timeline. That's all I'm saying. I don't think loyalty belongs to a timeline. It belongs to the person and the connection you have with that person. I think loyalty also entails like consideration. Like you say respect and it's like consideration that they would do that and then like you're like, all right, so I'm gonna do this, and it's like that that bond almost. That's the way. Yeah, I see it. yeah. That's, he's just calling it different things. Yeah, yeah. I I see I see you know loyalty from the aspect of respect and some form of give and take. Um, in a way, you know, like you give love in some way, or you give uh different little um things to help out. You be there for them, or like other types of, of things yeah yeah like little hints of uh love just being there for them at all times or any type of way you know with money or emotions or uh the way that you talk you know behind their back in some some form or defend them and stuff like that you know uh is like tyler was saying you know there's a lot of different forms of loyalty and i definitely out of all of them i do like the most um when uh you know people defend your honor when you're not there you know yeah like that one that one's kind of tough that one's kind of tough yeah like, oh, without yeah. a doubt yeah like uh you know like someone was talking shit or something and then they like defend your honor and you know that's that's pretty tough for me and they tell you the next day like yo this motherfucker was talking some shit yeah you know, like, yes da, da, da. i don't think i've ever really been in these situations though I do hear you though. No, I definitely heard some shit like that too. I mean, I feel like just sports wise, like especially like I remember like just being juniors too. Like every it's a very like as much as a team sport. Like everybody's trying to commit themselves. You know what I mean? Like it's a selfish mm -hmm. thing at the end of the day. So like there's definitely like shit talking and stuff like that amongst like your own teammates because like everybody's fighting for your spot. You know what I mean? So like I definitely had stuff like that on my team, stuff like that. Like yo, like 
whatchamacallit was like talking crazy about you like he's faded as hell for that i told him like he's not gonna move up past the third line i'm like yeah let him know like, <laughs> like <all right. laughs> no, no really, right. I, i'm sure people talked about me here at some point but oh man, man. Yeah. i feel like it's inevitable honestly yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. You know what I mean? Like things. it's exactly like it's a good thing if people talk about you a lot. Like Absolutely. it's almost a good thing if people hate you sometimes. You know what I mean? Where it's like sadly, like it's a lot of times like they're jealous or like they want what you want. You know what I mean? Or like they just yeah. I guess I was about to say a whole different types of jealous, but yeah, they envy like you know what you have or like what you do. It's like Kanye's cousin. What? How do you know that? Kanye, Kanye said it inform me. Said his, Kanye said his cousin took his laptop. Oh, oh, oh like tried to like, yeah, steal shit. Yeah, like music. Everything that was on there. Oh, Anything that was on there. Yeah, and try to like blackmail him possibly, or like hold it yeah. for ransom. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So sometimes well, it'd be the closest ones to you, or maybe if he wasn't closest, but like, still like. In the yeah. family, in a sort, in a sense. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, wait, this is a crazy Like statistic. someone that you wouldn't expect. Bro, but it's all, bro, this is a total left turn, but like, yeah, like low key, like, uh, like violence and murders is usually like, it's 90% of the time people you know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, that's why they go to like family suspects first when like somebody dies. You know what I mean? It's like, is it the boyfriend, the ex boyfriend, or is it like a cousin? And it's like, mm-hmm. all right, it's probably one of those people, and like, we gonna find out. Wow, but it's That's usually not random, bro. It, bro, it really is. Good, but like, think, yeah, but if you think random. about it though, like, yeah, think about it. Though, like, people only like you know are angry at other people because of a reason. It's not like like people don't normally like there's obviously serial killers and psychopaths that like randomly kill people but like most people have to be pushed to a limit and like you know they probably are like they're getting crazy and that's why they killed whatever like their spouse or whoever it may be but like that's like there's a reason there you know what i mean it's not like random people just doing stuff yeah yeah it could be politics it could be, it could be, but yeah, it's not like gang stuff. Be, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like gang pe- gang members like shooting other gang members just because they're in a different gang. Like there's association, no. there's a reason, there's something behind it. Hmm. Like I heard like something about um, I think it was Diddy that killed Biggie. Even though really be, like tight and shit. Like oh, that was like uh, some Eminem, right, or something like that. Eminem said something like that. I heard something about it, and I I seen like I think it was his bodyguard that was like just saying that that he oh. was this evil dude, and he was like someone that would do that. Like, and and it makes me think like too like these people with so much power, so much like voice in what they can say, like to the public and shit. Like they do the craziest thing. Like they're playing a game of chess, but like with real life. Yeah. It's because yeah, the power. I've been thinking if, about that. Especially if that is true, like if he was the one that killed Biggie, like yeah, bro, he just took a big piece off the board. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. In that yeah. time, like back in mm-hmm. that in those mm-hmm. days, in that day, yeah, but it's a big yeah. piece. <laughs> oh no, <nah. laughs> no, that's crazy. But no, I will. I would agree. I think I don't know. Do you believe that though? Like, what do you think on that? I mean, I really was, I was pretty, even just looking at a lot of stuff, like, I still did see a lot of stuff just pointing to Suge Knight. I don't know. Like, I remember seeing, watching a couple, a couple of documentaries and stuff like that. Like, about a Biggie? Lot of, yeah, about Biggie's death and, um, about, or about Tupac's death as well. Um, just like kind of like into the whole thing. Cause I, I don't know. Like, once I got into like, the culture of that time or like the music and stuff like that like like i don't know like there was more like rap diss and stuff like that too like you know like who shot you is biggie's like you know verse just directly talking to um tupac on how he got uh jumped and like people like you know three dudes ran up on him shot him and his boys or whatever like killed one of his boys when they were trying to go back to the crib and like then it, yeah it was od and then but like tupac did the same shit exactly he did <laughs> he the same back. thing 
he came back and responded with with um, a much harder song though like, bro honestly, a much harder song he it was you shot who shot you and then someone the other song responding it's was like, fire mm, 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 yes mm, yes bro mm, mm, and it's great no it's, it it's but i know but it's a fire song i just like the uh the honestly like the story Put and up. stuff like that Put him up. Put, put him, him up. up. Put him up. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Exactly. And he calls out everything. Well, hit, him like calling, hit him up. Hit him up. Hit, hit him up. Hit him up. That's exactly what it is. Hit him up. He literally talks about how like Biggie's a pussy and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, he like his you wife could... and everything. Yes. Yes. He's like, bro, he yo, gets like, violent can... in there. Bro, he know he gets OD. <laughs> he bro. Was talking he, he talks shit on crazy. <laughs> hit him up. Yep. That's exactly what it is. That's fire. Yeah. No, it's a, it's it's good though. I liked. I was interested, but then I was also like. Hearing about they used to be like cool. They were friends at one point. Oh, yeah, I didn't like know that. Was, you know what I mean? Like, I was just it's... watching a, a YouTube video on them like freestyling together at one point. Yeah, bro. Like I never knew that was a thing until I started looking in. And I was like, I thought it was East Coast versus West Coast. Like, and that so was they the boys Coast. at some point. Yeah, like that was, you know, hip hop loves battles and loves drama, shoes. and they created you know the I mean? drama. Yeah, exactly. So honestly, Crazy. when you say Suge Knight, I feel like Suge Knight was definitely behind Tupac because Tupac was already under death row. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I, I Bro, Suge, Suge Knight like definitely he got his Tupac. money. Tupac was about to, like, buy out his contract and be able to do whatever he wants. Like, mm-hmm. Suge Knight was like, nah, like, you got too much political influence, too. <laughs> Way too much. Honestly. And I think, like, for Biggie's case, I, I low-key think, like, it's either retali- retaliation, like, from, like, maybe other people, or it's low-key, like, I don't know. I did see just still stuff about Suge Knight, like, lingering and trying to, like, cut off ties because Death Row Records was starting to fall off before anyway, so he needed a jump and all this other stuff, so I don't know. But now Snoop's got death row. Oh yeah, facts. Snoop Dogg's got death row, and he said like he's got to go through like a hula hoop of shit to like get that. He said at first he was just trying to get his ma- his own masters and shit, and then he really? ended up getting all of death row. That's crazy. I never knew he owned all of death row. That makes sense though. Or a majority of it, obviously. But... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Majority owner. That's tough. Damn. Oh dear. And he started there too, like that was his. That's where he was working. Yeah, yeah, that's where he started, like you know, producing or making music and stuff. Death Row is a a sponsor of Happy Dad now. Like they're they're on the Are you Happy s- Dad really? seltzer, which is like a hard seltzer of uh, this YouTube this YouTube group Honestly, called Nelk. Yeah, yeah. There's like a I feel like every flavor called Death Row. Oh wow, that's crazy! I know they've been doing a lot of collabs and stuff like that, dude. They're marketing really well, and they're like, Happy Dad is really, really expanding really fast. Like their marketing is just amazing. I really do love it. In, in terms yeah, of that, yeah. like, question, what if there was an alcohol that you would do as like, you know, your name brand alcohol? What would it be like, and what would the taste be? Crown Royal. It'd be Crown Royal, it, yeah. exactly like Crown Royal. Like you just like um, that's would I... be. I'd put it a, would there be a better version of it? Like, would you make I'd it like a, sweeter? I'd put a I put a cinnamon taste on it. Okay, so <laughs> Crown Royal with cinnamon taste. I like that. Okay, what about you, Luch? I don't know. Any man. ideas? No, that's Ty? that's a toughie. What? What would if you had your own alcohol, like your own name brand alcohol, like that you released? What would it be like? And what if it was similar to something? <laughs> what would what would you do to change it to make it yours? Or like, what would you sponsor? That's already out there. Would that's true, like? but like more like no, I would. I'm. I'm more. Oh, you're thinking saying like, create your own. Yeah, like create your own. Like that's what oh. I'm saying. Like Crown Royal, but like, what would you like? Crown Royal with the cinnamon is your thing. You know what I mean? Not Crown Royal. It would be like me, like coming out with my. Own I don't favorite. know. That's a good question. I want. I want like a beer, like a solid beer, like Blue Moon with, uh, Ooh. like a honey type sweetness to it, like a honey wheat flavor. I think they I have think. that. Uh, it was like a limited edition, but I never see it around, and I only see like different types of it. So uh-huh. I might have been like tripping out, like, "Oh, did I ever have honey? Like, was that ever mm-hmm. a thing?" So I don't know. I just want to see that into like, like I could I, see I think that. It would be good. 
Yeah. I like Blue Moons too. I think they're pretty good. So Blue I can I can good. low key. Yeah. You know, dude. Yeah, you get them at the bar. Like if you when you get them like on tap too, like you get Just a nice a solid, fresh orange solid slice beer, in man. there too. Oh my god. Solid beer. And I'm busting the orange slice every time. Shut up with me, yeah, dummy. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I'm time. really I'm really eating that shit. But I could I see that with the honey stuff. having a little bit of sweetness. That could yeah. be good. I could definitely see that. Yeah, instead um, of instead damn. of saying blue moon, it will be full moon because it's so, Ooh, so I like full. That. Full, yeah. Honestly, it's original. But besides the like crown that. royal, <laughs> I'd want to um do like an apple ale, almost like reds or okay. apple orchards. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I, I like remember, that. Yo, that was that's your favorite type of beer. Yeah, huh? the reds. Fire. Yeah, the best. They're like good, the man. Best, They're good. The best apple ale, ale, I think. I think it's better the than reds. Uh, than apple orchards. Oh really? That, yeah. Is that the name? Yeah, it yeah. is. Or no, Angry Orchards. Angry, Angry orchards. orchards, not apple like, orchards. Not, but I got yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. No, yeah. you're. I I could. Those are good. Those are really good. Those are literally like you're drinking straight like apple cider bro, like it's actually fire you can drink like nine of them and be like ready to go like yeah they're juice bro they're straight bro, you, up they juice. just go through them juice, so easily yeah yeah, yeah no. i drink it like it's soda not respectfully um yeah all right i would say probably for mine i would tequila like it would have to tequila. be a tequila <laughs> yeah you know damn well you know damn well I'm getting down with the tequila, and then it'd probably have to be something. Eighteen hundred. You can lose me. Nah, Miguel. Miguel. Ooh, Miguel. That Miguel. sounds fire. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna create Miguel. that. Um, bro, it's I gonna be that. it. Yeah, facts. And it's it. tequila too. <laughs> <I own it. laughs> One day I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to make it a thing, and then be like. Ooh, sorry. That name's actually copyrighted. I'm like, who the fuck owns Miguel? <laughs> Jared Sancho. I'm like, that <laughs> fucking nigga, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> like, nah, but I would probably have it. I would genuinely, out of all the tequilas I've tried, I'd probably have it like somewhere in between like, like a Blanco. Don Julio, and then also maybe a little bit of the flavor of like, actually, okay, that's what I'll do. Don Julio, like the drink itself, the smoothness, and like how much it like it doesn't really burn that much, but it's a nice like smooth go down like in taste. But I would love that like aroma and slight hint of flavor of that eighteen hundred coconut. But the Ooh, alcohol itself yeah. isn't as good in the coconut. Oh, okay. But I know that flavor would bust with Don Julio. Bro. I remember we we bought like a massive bottle of like eighteen hundreds coconut. Yeah, and, I and I think I bought three went bottles. Through, of dude, went that. through it like so easily, bro. I bought, bought a bottle, I bought a every bottle other day. of rock as well. I was like, why am I in this liquor store so much, bro? Bro, we were there. We were there, we were there every a, a day lot. almost. It was so, yeah, I literally was, was like we were like, Dude. "Oh yeah, we knew where it was at that point." Like we were like, "Yeah, like let's just go walk to the liquor store." Like it's the regular route. We've been walking it almost every day, you know. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Hey, the dude was wearing yeah. the Argentina shirt one time too. And like he's like, "Yeah, like Argentina." Da, da, da. That was fire. Bro, yeah. Fucking... They were getting lit, bro. Oh my bro, god, bro! You know I why it went so late. easily? Because we did day drinking on the beach. That's why yeah. it was going. And that then is. after we'd uh, go back, drink uh, some water, of course, hydrate and shit. And then we would uh, eat, and then we'd drink again. Yeah. And it's just like, damn, I know oh, we're kind of yeah. we're kind of out. Uh, we probably need some more. All right, let's go back to the For... store. Exactly. And if we're going back at five six a.m., like we were drinking all day, like it's it's clips, like it's the yeah. alcohol's not lasting, like. Yeah, yeah. And we were buying bulk. We were really like doing it, like <laughs> quote unquote, the best way possible. But honestly, we were buying seven fifty milliliters, bro. Luch had it right. Just buy the fucking fat ass bottle of Ciroc and just get to it. And that yeah. didn't even last. <laughs> no, it did not last. <laughs> that went in like a, a day and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. 
bro i remember i bought the 1800 ciroc like the coconut for the first time and this is my first time having this and i'm like oh my god this is so good bro it was gone in a day it was literally gone in a day. i literally <laughs> missed part of the going through that shit like it was nothing bro, bro. i missed part of the pregame and half of my <laughs> coconut was gone i was like i didn't even get to drink bro like what <laughs> like y'all what <laughs> but it was fire it was so fire oh, worth god, it worth it that is so good dude i, I know miss, i miss it I really <laughs> know. I just want to go. Bless you. God I bless you. I just want to go back on vacation. Another trip. Yeah, yeah another, facts. Another trip. Bless, bless, you. bless you. I know. I want to do what we do at the bar. Just like I just want to. Yeah, what we did at in Los or in Miami was tough. Like, I just like we can just get to it. It would be tough, tough. Bad timing. It would be extremely <laughs> bad timing. And I and I mean that to the fullest extent. I swear to fuck. I can see you busting a rum punch. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I am Ooh, going. Yeah. I don't drink the rum hell? that much unless I'm in Barbados. I'm going to do. Like Hillary and Son. I think I'm going to do tequila. Mm. Fire. And I'm going to make a better Don Julio. That's what I'm going to do. Respectfully. Mm. What's the twist on it, though? Like, what's like, is it. I haven't thought that far. Um, flavor <laughs> is it white is um, it a, a brown it's gonna be clear it's mm-hmm. gonna be clear um what's gonna separate it it has to be something with the house the the the, the kill is actually made yeah, yeah i'm gonna do something special like add a little like like fruits here and there i don't know something's mm-hmm. gonna be different it's gonna no, be I better like that. yeah i'm a fan i'm a supporter i'm a supporter tequila. and the don julio yeah. I feel you, bro. Bro, you guys really got me into like tequila going into it. Bro, it's fire. Yeah. Like, it's I've had it here me. and there, but it wasn't like my favorite, you know? Like, I, mm-hmm. I've mostly had like vodka, rum, and that was mostly mm-hmm. it, you know? Yeah. But then you guys steered me into the direction of uh, tequila and tried these fantastic drinks, and it was just like, that's <laughs> such true. a such a buzz it's such a buzz dude yeah and it. tequila has a nice little buzz to it too yeah it fucked me up dude. that morning though that yeah morning, it was pounding yeah that's your fault you just drank too much of it yeah <laughs> i only had three cups i only had three cups of it and then i had no but i did have a couple of nicola so yeah, I, was I don't know it. and yeah, yeah that'll do it they say yeah. that mixing I don't alcohol think I really- is a myth that gets you it is a myth. i heard it yeah. is a myth it's just you just have it's all the sugar content so if you're drinking like one has high sugar content and then you switch to a cocktail that has high sugar content yeah. that's yeah. The what, what really that... gets you is the is the sugar, dehydration the discuss yeah, yeah yeah i feel that's like we discussed about this one though. time like off camera we were just going at it in uh i think uh you didn't believe my, me my living room it was on like the couch or something. Yeah. You guys, because well, oh, I brought it up. I was like, that's just a myth. And then Jared said something that was like, you know, no, just, no, no, it's just, not. And then Tyler no, came no. out with, with the facts. And then they just kept going back and forth. And then we were all going against <laughs> Jared. And then <laughs> I just like, need, no. no, I need Tyler for the facts. I, I'm, I swear to God, I was just talking to him the I'm other day Google about, sometimes. about how <laughs> me, not nah, about how me, Jared, and Luch were hanging out in the hot tub. And how they were fighting. Yeah, we were they were fighting me about genetics. Like, like you can work as hard as you want, but like genetics like doesn't play a factor. And like I was like, I was fighting for my life. And then Jared comes over. It's me, Jared, and Ty. I said something about it. And Ty's like, Yeah, no, that's just genetics. I was like, speaking of this dumb nigga on my left, actually, (laughs) who was fighting me. I was like, and he was fighting me too. (laughs) But honestly, it's like you were talking about. We were recently we were talking about like where the insertion is, like on mm-hmm. the muscle. Yeah, like it's gonna be, be, it's gonna be proportionate to where your like limbs connect though. So it's not like no, it's, it's not. Yes, it is. Like if you have longer oh, limbs, here we go. No, it's not. Your Jared, 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 Jared. Just, There's are like, long and short insertions. If you're a midget, you can have long muscle insertions, and if you're a tall person, you can have like small sure. bicep oh, where it doesn't go out okay. here. Bring it bring it bicep it comes out to like here. 
Bring it out. Damn. All right, yeah. all right. I had to let yeah. him know. I, I'm going to yeah, spit the facts. I, was, I didn't want to get into it because Miller's right. And, you know, yeah, I don't I already don't, know. I'm just saying. It's okay, it's okay Jerry. It just depends say, on what you, you mean by gen- it depends. It depends on what you mean by <laughs> when you say genetics. Like, it, Obviously... What, you're, you're just, just taking it too. No? You're just taking your wrong because you're wrong. Exactly. What she exactly. said is wrong. Yeah, I think that no. it also depends on how no, hard you work because no, you can no. have the it genetics. Not. What you, you said, never, but what you just wrong. said was you wrong. Ne- no. You said no. muscle insertions going. Blah, blah, blah. That was wrong. You don't even know what I said. You don't even know what I said. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, I'm just not going. It, 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 it was wrong. It was wrong. It was. Wrong. It wasn't wrong. I'm not repeating the nonsense you said. Jared, I'm gonna go send you a couple articles, real. and then I'm gonna put your make sure to research articles. That. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. we were talking about we were talking about because you won't what are you see, talking about you won't see you won't see a tall person like with long limbs with a short insertion. That's yeah, what you I'm can. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Show me. Why do you feel that I need. I, I need look it up. Look it up. Tall person with short muscle insertion. <laughs> short and do the bicep one because that's the easiest one you'll see. I was short, of, honestly, short yeah. bicep insertions on tall person. It's just genetics, bro. Like short yeah. bicep, like the just, same I way that we were talking about the calves short. and stuff like that. I think, like, I think your piece. argument, the last argument that you were talking about, uh, Jared, about muscles and stuff, was about uh, like, uh, can skinny people grow muscle faster or fat people? Lose it all depends. And cut faster or something yep. like that. It all, it all depends on all genetics depends. or something on like what? that. Jared, why do you think you can literally, you can eat whatever you can the eat fuck like you want shit and, and still get be okay. and have four point four percent body fat? Jared, that's not human. You like and that's not regular. You know what I mean? Like, why do you think half of obe- half he of America is obese? He yeah. thinks he works so hard. He thinks and he works diet really is, hard. And his he thought diet he worked is so terrible. That's no, no. You know what's funny? Dude, he thought he worked better, so hard. Better, his diet better. is terrible. I came, I came to the gym. I came to the gym. And I'm like, Listen. Jared's lifting like a pussy. Why? What is he talking about? Jared does not even lift hard. Listen, so what listen. is he getting this muscle from? There's 85, I think it's genetics. He takes 85 minutes no, between bench boss. presses. Yeah. He does like a 30 was... minute workout, 20 reps on shit. I'm like, what is this baby ass food? What? Hey, like, Miller, it's actually I work out tie, four tie, or five tie, times tie. a day. I <laughs> diet. And my body fat is at 8%. I was really curling 20 pounds more than you. I don't know. Like, honestly, I was curling... I'm saying, I know. Tie. Ty, I was curling 20 pounds more than him. I don't know what he's talking about, honestly. Tell yeah, me that what. Has, that has, what do you curl? Been... What do you curl? That's fair. That's I've fair. curled maximum 50. But okay, then I realized respect, it's not good respect. to do that. I'm going to be honest, Jared, but like that was the only what's, workout. What's, and that was also lifting, four lifting months small, ago. Lifting I have just started getting mean you lift into hard. Lifting more weight doesn't mean you lift more. Lifting more weight doesn't mean you lift more. Don't try to say it's baby weight, though. Wait, wait. Lifting more weight doesn't mean... Lifting more weight. I can, I can curl forties. I curl forties every day. All right. So then, how how did he say that I was doing baby weight if I was doing? I thought Jared, you said you. Jared, I thought you said you were working hard. Jared, you work. Oh, you said no. you were Jared, 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 Jared works hard. He works hard. Though. He works hard. He works hard. He works hard. That's what I'm saying. It was just lightweight. <laughs> But I don't know. It looked no. Actually, I'm not. Actually, I'm how is that? no. You were. You were not. You were not. You were literally cruising. Jared was cruising through his workout. He literally had light. Like for except for curls. Like bro. Like the fact that I was able to get inside of your weight range and I'm just. I had just been working out seriously for like a couple months. I was like, so he's not working. You're not working. You're not working. Ah. You're not working. Right, so what, you was what like was... 20 reps of like working. bench press. He's not, like, he's not working. He's not working how you're working, right? I'm telling, I'm telling you, I'm saying that. We were doing different things, you, though. It, dep- it, it, depends yeah. on, it depends on we were like, what he's things. working on, though. Yeah, he's going about for, just like, muscle up. mass or was, toning up. Yeah, but, but I was like, trying to. Bro, I was just like, trying to do my. I was trying to do maximum reps. You were trying to bulk up, but I was still bigger than you. But that's probably no, why but, he's so fucking fucking cut, though, because he's so toned huh? up of but doing no, more volume. More less volume and more reps. Toning is literally like. But he probably did that in the beginning because. Tony, what are you honest. saying? Literally, because uh, because you were muscle fibers more, but but okay, more but not not uh, time under tension. Yes, like but there's only a certain amount. Like Jared, you need to do so. This is what you do. So if you're doing, you do your 20 reps of like whatever bench press or whatever. The next time you do bench press, you need to be able to. I don't remember the last do... time I bench press. By the way, I don't. I'm Even too. better. But like when we were doing it, like <laughs> you, whatever you were doing, but you, okay, let's say incline or we were doing incline dumbbell bench press. Like, I you? was like running that through. You did like 15 to 20 reps the next time in the next week and the next week after 
you need to increase your reps if you're not increasing your weight, but you do neither. So you're just going to the gym, lifting, you're doing supersets, and Standing. you just leave. Like, it's just like, it wasn't that intense, bro. I'm just going to be real. Like, it's just that. I literally just did 80s today on incline, though. I, can I just that. did That's 75s. Cool. I just did 75. But anyway, what's but the, what's the wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I went, I went from you were to 80s. That's fire. Well, That's no, because fire. my shoulder That's was fire. hurt when I was with you. Okay, wasn't? okay. No, you're right. I think you're right. You did. I, I just don't know, don't know what's the original argument. What's the original argument? Yeah, you did say the original. The original argument. The original, the argument. The original <laughs> argument was if you could, if skinny people can build up muscle faster. Working like hard is working people, hard. You know I mean? Make like, a difference. Yes, I think. I think it's easier to shed the water weight. Honestly, I think it's. I think is it's obviously a combination of both, but at some point. Your genetics don't allow you to do something like another person could do. Jared does yeah, not for work sure. out five times a day, and I'm still not at his body fat percentage yet. And I've been doing this for like ah, all my life. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing it my life, all my life too. Jared, it has nothing. You're not understanding. So you're just being. If you're not understanding my point, I don't see how we can get on the same page arguing. Because yes, you did the same thing, but you do not work as hard as me. It's just that's facts. It's just facts. I work out more times, more eat better, more times, do everything, try to do it right to get to seven percent by to be the NBA standard. You do not do these things, and you're still at a better body fat percentage than but me. But he's also but done it, this. done it for a long time, and was disciplined like, about I've going been to lifting gym every I've been, day. Why do you say know, that? I, I, I was a D one college athlete. You trying to be an NBA I, basketball? You I don't think I started I'm lifting? That's what I'm saying. Like other than you, though, it does. It does help. No, I started so lifting in high school too. I started lifting in middle school though. Like it doesn't grade. matter when, bro, bro, bro. Regardless of when you started, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying, saying like your I genetics more, are better than mine. This, yeah, is that I've true? Is, can you agree? The, can you? I don't care what else you say. Do you, I'm can just you saying agree? I've done. I've done more. Can you reps agree? Of what the can you answer my question? Mm -hmm. Can you agree that your genetics are just better than mine? I think your genetics help. Say that they yeah, definitely help to. Definitely. You can say that. All right, then uh, yeah, got around the same Thank page. You. That's I all I need. Yeah, I just. I'm saying also the reps count though because I've started since sixth grade. You said you started in high school, so that's another three. That's I a started three freshman of year of high school, and I was that's 14. That's a whole three years of experience, but, though. But in like three years, no, but the, you think, you it, think three yeah, years in I middle know. school is that's making a huge distance? No. It wasn't, it, it wasn't like, a, it wasn't like distance? close to what, it wasn't close to All right, what all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. By the way, I've been working out we three, four, or five times a day since like high school, too. So if you're doing these, you if you work out one time a day, you're not, you're not, I work out five times. So let's say a year goes by, I work out four or five times a day. He already passed you. Yeah. I'm, I'm already passed you in reps. Yeah, exactly. That like, that's exactly the point. Yeah. But like, that's I'm more time not, under tension. I'm not trying that's to compare more reps. depends on what workout you're doing. I'm not though. trying to like, Yeah, it depends on what workouts what, you're what, doing, not too. Like, if you're doing more cardio, then yes, right? I'm trying yeah, to lose, I'm trying to lose like fat. Mine. Do you not, if I'm I haven't been doing cardio though. So you're you're that's just the missing point. the point. <laughs> that's the point. The you point. haven't touched cardio and you're at four percent <laughs> body fat, Jared. What not are you gonna... not hearing here? Like you bro, eat also whatever not you want it as much as he does. Like it, it's <laughs> it's also bro. a combination of diet and shit. <laughs> like honestly, he, did, not, he doesn't well, eat that one. much though. He like, I don't eat that much. That much. That's a huge factor. That's <laughs> of course, yeah. but you but there's he, also bro. It takes it. He he didn't eat. For a whole day until dinner time, till he came over to my house, he was like, "Bro, I didn't eat today." Fuck. Yeah, that, and then that, he gets no, fucked no. up on wine. Like, bro, this guy does not no, no, eat. No, but, so he no, no, fasts but, for a whole day. And I get, I get. There's like different it's, ways it's of like fasting and all this stuff and how he loses his fat, right? But he keeps so, his no, but he keeps his muscle though, which is also a thing. Ridiculous. If you don't eat anything at all, out, you lose though. muscle. I, That's how it works. If, you know what I mean? If I had not been working a lot, I do. I do think that genetics help. Genetics definitely help, right? All right, that's all I need to hear, Luke. Just yeah, all, I'm all right now. Genetics great. definitely help. Can you, help. Can you exactly. say that, Jerry? Yeah, can you, like, yes, Jared. obviously genetics help. All right, then I'll yeah, see how okay. I'm You're genetics, making it yeah, seem like, like I'm doing something literally. wrong. Literally. You make genetics help, but they don't, they don't. It, it should the be a balance, though. It should be a balance of hard work and genetics. I'm not like, diminishing your hard work. I'm saying I'm working more times with more reps than you for the last, well, a lot of years, last few years, and I'm not you. And it's okay. 
That's so long. You have someday. a great physique, Jared. Like, you have a very <laughs> good physique. <laughs> Wait, Obviously, Luch, I'm not the saying work and shit he's like not that. working no. hard. I'm yeah, just saying you've done it. my 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 the way I'm working is to be an NBA basketball player. The way you're yeah, working yeah. is to maintain and gain weight to look good. Mm-hmm. You know, our th- our things is different. That's okay. Yeah. If, I'm sure yeah, if you yeah, yeah. were trying to be an NBA basketball player, I'm sure you would be working out even more. I'm not well, saying you're honestly, that I, would. I, I wouldn't lift as yeah. much either because I'm not trying to carry that weight. Yeah, well. no, I'm yeah. lifting. I'm lifting five times a week. Mm, that's pretty. And good. it's yeah, not. It's not good. about carrying Same weight. Me, but it's about being weight. basketball. It's about being basketball. Training, your strength training. I'm actually your body building. I'm not, not body building. building I'm, a, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, like I'm not body building, you, but I'm also doing more than strength training. What? You, what's your like? Record? Like I'm doing more than what I did in college, which was strength training. It seemed like you got older. I hope so. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, like I'm not trying to like stay that consistent weight. So Wait, you're I guess trying to like maintain your body. Like, I want to get to a certain point and then just maintain that and not like. like but that's my thing. Goal. Like, but that's my whole point here. Like, are you trying to maintain this? Are you trying to gain muscle? Like, like no, I want to gain a little more muscle. Like, I want to get to two hundred. So well, why? So my thing is like my thing has been like why? Why are you doing this high rep? cardiovascular workout if you want to get bigger like you when, need to be when able did to, you when did you decide to go bigger to try it's to more bigger? until i it's more go like bigger, go fail. Home. honestly that's like <laughs> yeah when i get to like that fail point that's when i'm like all right like if i can increase that or then increase the but how many reps is that you know what i mean like if you can go to it the depends fail, on how much weight i'm doing but honestly. that's my point because you need to increase your weight because i saw you do like 20 reps on something and i was like 20 reps is like yeah, well, that was a threshold you're... you know that was a threshold no but yeah you're, you're like it's, it's it a wasn't bad even day. like it's, it's a bad like day. it's like i guess Honestly, it's close to failure threshold. don't get it twisted but it's like you okay well that means that either last week or a couple weeks ago that means you either did 15 reps on that or neck in a couple weeks you're so what's gonna your do argument, 25 no, he should be doing because I looked I think, into this. I, I, I think, I think he this. should be working. I think I'm he should, to it should just be progressive like overloading. It's truthfully, I, I it's, it, out, it's truthfully, it's <laughs> truthfully both ways. If you incorporate both things of what y'all mm-hmm. saying, of course, it's the best way to build muscle. One doing, doing, let's say you do three weeks of failing, like going mm-hmm. reps to failure. Mm-hmm. At some point, it doesn't matter. You need, it, reload. Like, it's you a need to do, yeah, you need to do something different. Mm-hmm. Which could yeah. be, you know, add more weight and cut the reps down, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. Um, but it, both of y'all are right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just the pro- <laughs> point of progressive overload. You know I mean? doing it's just more. mad funny. I know. I like, it's just doing I like more. more. You know I mean? I when I worked out, like, I just love not... doing the doing the. Do more you do the same weight. thing every time? Like I do. I do. So I get up to you know a good comfortable uh rep range which is like Mm -hmm. 10 to 12 for me um at Mm -hmm. good good weight though like something Mm -hmm. that i can actually control instead of like do you ever increase your weight though so i always i always need control whenever i need Mm -hmm. like lift something right because otherwise Mm -hmm. it it just feels like i'm off i'm gonna hurt something or like you want to be clean just not doing everything you know right so i need to have control of weight and i need to get a certain amount of reps in but i also like to end off with until failure. So with that mm-hmm. certain muscle group, or mm-hmm. it can be on a different, different day. I can do more volume of weight mm-hmm. and less reps, or yeah. I just like, I try to like kind of trick my body in a way to like kind of increase that muscle strength and also mm-hmm. tone down a little bit in a way. But those mm-hmm. are different types of way that I I've done it before. Like when you guys saw me like fucking like really like massive at one point, that's when I was just like doing like a lot of weight and mm-hmm. like just fucking going for it and i wasn't yeah. doing those things <laughs> until a failure or like no like no yeah. no uh mm-hmm. cardio afterwards or anything i was just going yeah. like that's like lifting heavy progressively yeah, I was just you know, lifting just heavy progressively progressively more you know what i mean yeah but also like i did love those days like i would have like a day or two maybe in that week where i would uh go until failure like just like mm-hmm. one workout it would have to be of that muscle group going mm-hmm. to a failure to get really like this that, good looks that um, crazy pump that muscle just really like fucking um those muscle fibers like just good contractions and everything yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but th- I so, think that's my okay. I think that was. I guess that's my thing. I try to like, have like a little bit of a balance, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I try to. to do the same thing. Like I, I actually like right now. At first, I was just straight bodybuilding, but right now, like I'm like starting to like just plat toe in size because i've been trying to go for strength a little bit as well like and i'm trying to just like get stronger and like that's why i've been kind of like going where like my rep range is like i don't really like to hit five like that's five is only on the prs but like i usually i keep it from six to twelve and like honestly i really want to be hitting like 10 to 12 for my first one but like if i hit 10 that is fine. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if that's where my max is, like that's fine. But I definitely want to be hitting eight and I definitely want to be hitting six on my third. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I guess my thing was like the progressive overload is like one of those things that build muscle. And like, so that's why Jared, like I low key, like I thought I was like, you know, like you've been lifting forever. You've been progressively overloading forever. Mm. I thought it was surprising that you probably i low-key i'm like how are you not lifting how are you not dumbbell pressing like a hundreds in each hand like i'm like there's no way but in the same way here i'm gonna give i'm gonna give one thing i'm skinny as fuck still and i'm still small but i can chest press 75 pound dumbbells and like i'd be seeing like looks in the gym with bigger people that like cannot do that and i'm able to do that and that could be a genetic I could be just genetically strong. You know what I mean? Because like I just hit the 225 squat today, actually, respectfully, two plays yeah. beyond that. But just hit that, just hit that PR today. Love that. I, I only I only hit it for five reps Wish I was on my on my six one. Like I literally That's started PR, like though. practically crying. Yeah. Um, yeah. And once I finished the squat, I I literally almost passed out. Like I was seeing stars. But um, oh, yeah, I had a cool, I had a cool, I had a good five reps. PR on the 225. I was really happy. But like also like bro, people be looking at me because like my shit is still like small, you know what I mean? But like I'm strong. Like, so it's weird. But that's why in my head, I'm like, Jared should have a hundreds. Cause like in all honesty, I'm gonna catch up to you like real soon. Like respectfully, like I'm on your ass. Like I'm yeah, gonna be so. yeah, I'm on the like road to a hundred. So. You know yeah, what I mean? I like that talk. Uh, yeah, like, I'm like, so. yo, like I'm really honestly, I'm gonna be hitting 85s in a couple months, like not even. Like, I'm gonna let you know. The thing is, I just did 80 incline dumbbells, right? Mm-hmm. How many reps though? You probably repped I, it I, out. I no 10. I did 10. Okay, that, that's good though. That's good. And I've had my shoulder injury since june right and i think it's just last June, but i still have to figure it out and when we were working out was actually like the peak of when it was bothering me so you did actually say something about it go because we because we almost did no because we almost did the barbell bench press and i was saying like yeah that might fuck your shoulder up worse you were saying something about that i was like yeah no we could do something else i already don't like doing barbell like i yeah i I automatically exert more force on my left arm than my right arm yeah, that's so why I don't like, like that I need shit to balance either. Balance that out first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then go back to that. No, I'm a but dumbbell guy as well. Honestly, I think it's just about. It's not gonna always be like a a incline of strength. Of course, you know I mean? like you're gonna you're gonna plateau. You're plateau. Even gonna dip sometimes. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And that's what I had to do. And then especially because I dipped, and I was like, mm-hmm. maybe I'm not working out properly, so I have to fix my form. Mm-hmm. So I even had to go down, and that helps too, way. though. And then from there, that's when I started doing more reps of what I were I was doing mm-hmm. because I had to make sure that I was better form. form. That's fast. Like establishing a better foundation, essentially. Yeah, I think that's actually, yeah. okay. That's like honestly the best thing you can do because if you're getting the best contractions and you're getting like the best like you know muscle mind muscle connection and everything, like I hundred percent get that. That's I guess the I was biggest thing. Yeah, that yeah, and that and that really is that's what yeah, I just started mm-hmm. doing too. Like. Getting yeah, that's that. fire. That's fire. Yeah, like literally, like locking in that just was... that muscle and shit like that. Because dude, that's crazy. You're so quick. big, bro. Like it's crazy. Like I swear to God, like Thank I don't. You. I'm just like the research guy, but I swear to God, like it's crazy hearing you say something like, "Yeah, I just found out the muscle mind muscle connection." I'm like, bro, what? You look like that. Like that's crazy, bro. Like every uh, every bodybuilder is always talking about like that's one of the first things you want to like figure out to like get all the muscles like you know like working yeah. without your forearms and stuff like that yeah, yeah. but that's fire that's fire that's but awesome. no that's good looks though because like it's a crazy thing though like wouldn't you say jerry like you're like 
whoa, this muscle stopped working. And you like feel like you're just like, I'm pulling shit with my tricep muscle. I'm not even thinking about moving my arm. My tricep muscle yeah. is just, I literally hold the fucking wire, the cable like this, bro. I literally hold it, yeah. the cable like this. It's just right in between my hands and it's just all tricep. I just, <laughs> like, that shit just goes, man. Oh, I swear man. to God. Like, and I think because of my strength training, like before, because here's the thing, mm -hmm. like before that June, like of last year, mm -hmm. I was literally just working out for basketball, essentially. So like I was yeah. just doing strength training. Athletic. Like, I would get through my workouts like quickly because honestly, you want to just do that so you can get out and go to class, mm -hmm. whatever. So I knew like how to work out quickly. Once I started working out like with more weight, more trying to bodybuild, I wasn't mm -hmm. still, I still wasn't getting that like mind body connection mm -hmm. and it wasn't until recently like i was like all right i need to slow down one of my boys that i used to play basketball with actually mm -hmm. told me like just slow down like try to feel that contraction mm -hmm. try to feel those muscles actually yeah. working like yeah. tearing a little bit you know what yes I mean? you feel the stretch and everything bro yeah like you have to in order for it to get mm -hmm. big in order for it to repair exactly yeah luch was literally just saying talking about that like literally like getting those nasty like feeling like that stretch and everything just getting really good ones and yeah. it's like my shoulder still fucking hurts so like i mm -hmm. i think honestly i have tendonitis in my acromial like in my mm -hmm. shoulder which is yeah. like i thought it was my rotator cuff but that's exactly where it is so it's like did you, you know, ever do like physical therapy after you hurt your shoulder no i've been that's probably just where sleeping you on, on it for like the yeah. next 12 yeah almost that's, 12 that's most likely months. where the pain's coming from not doing anything after yeah, yeah, you kind of let it chill. It's like, yeah, oh that's my, my head flexor. I'm at this point where it's like I'm not an athlete anymore. It's not the biggest concern. I hope, I hope we all know this has been a Honestly. two hour, damn near two hour talk. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I gotta take. I know. A I gotta eat. Let's get it. Let's get an outro. So let's get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and. Check that merch store down in the link below. Yep. Yep. Click like the link. Yeah. Make sure to support your boys so we can keep this going and keep moving. Keep improving That's for y'all. That's nice um, too. It's very nice. And then in the future, we hopefully can get better merch and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to go check out that last podcast with the guests and everything. And uh, we'll see in the future if we can have some more. All right. Peace. Peace.